I grew up with a, a really great family. There was never a time that we didn't go to church. Our whole family was really involved um, in music and worship, you know, and just all the different aspects of church. When I was in high school, there was a church retreat that I went to. Um, and one of the times when I was there, I heard God clearly say to me that I needed to be ready that someday somebody was going to ask me to take in a child. And so that kind of stuck with me for, you know, a long time. It was, it was something that never really left my mind. I met my husband through my brother when he was in the Marines. Got to know each other better and eventually decided to get married. That idea of that, you know, there was a child that God had said that we were gonna need to take care of just was always in the back of my mind. A couple years later, getting pregnant, um, and 12 weeks in, we went for our first um, appointment, and I'd had a, I was having a miscarriage. It really shook me. About a month or two later, I was at work. Um, I worked at the Joplin Early Childhood Center with special needs kids. Um, and one of the little boys in my classroom, we had heard that morning that he had gotten taken into foster care. He had gotten removed from his home. I had a conversation as soon as I dropped him off for the morning um, with my principal and I said, I wish that we already had our foster license because we were talking about becoming foster parents. And I walked out of the room to go get my lunch. And by the time I got down to my classroom, my principal was on the walkie talkie saying that she needed me in the office. And I went back down there and she said, you're not gonna believe this, but Child Services is on the phone to see if there's anybody that can take this child in. Just a few months after he came into our home, we got pregnant again with our now three-year-old daughter. And then now we have an almost one-year-old. <laughs> I think the biggest thing that he's taught me is to trust his timing. <laughs> And you know that when, even if he tells you something and you don't get a response or you know what you think is the answer or what you think is gonna ha supposed to happen right away, to keep trusting because you know his, his timing is perfect. I'm Kim Kovach and this is me.